Hey guys, what's going on today? I'm going to be showing you how to get Office installed and working on Ubuntu. This should also work on Linux Mint or other similar distros. I'm not using any virtual machine. There's no gimmicks or anything. This is genuine Microsoft Office, not online, like the true full copy of Microsoft Office running on Ubuntu. I've got the full suite installed and I haven't encountered any problems yet, but just as a proof of concept, I'm going to go ahead and open up Word. You can see that it loads like normal. I can start a document, I can start typing, I can mess with everything, uh, change the font, change the size, it all works the way that it should, which is nice. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to need is an offline 32-bit installer for Microsoft Office. 2013 seems to be the version that works best. I've seen some people be able to get 2016 to work, and I'm sure that it could work if you fiddled around with it, but 2013 seems to work perfectly, and it doesn't really, you don't really lose any features compared to 2016. So I'll have the link to download the version that I'm using in the description, but basically you're going to download it and extract it, and then what you're going to do is install an app called Play on Linux. So to do that, you're literally just going to go to your terminal, sudo apt get install play on linux it's going to ask for your passwords you can enter that i've already got it installed so it's not um, actually installing it and then after that you're going to install something called winbind so sudo apt get install winbind hit enter same thing i've already got it installed but once you've done that you're going to go ahead and open your play on linux and you can see i've got everything installed already but what you're going to do is hit install and you're just going to search for Office in the search bar here. And you can see there is kind of some support for 2016. Uh, again, I haven't really messed around with it too much, but since the version I'm using is 2013, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to hit install. It gives me a note that it is in test. <coughs> Excuse me, that it's in testing. And then you're just going to hit next, next. It is going to ask you for a setup file. So again, you're going to download the file that I will provide in the description. Extract it. And then you're going to hit on setup.exe. You're going to go ahead and open that. You're going to hit next. And I've already got it installed, so it is um, giving me the option to override. But for you, you just be able to hit yes. But I'm just going to install it from scratch for the proof of concept. So I'm going to give it a second while it uninstalls here. And while this is happening, it's going to probably prompt you a couple times. It'll be like, you're missing this or that dependency. Would you like us to install it for you? You're just going to hit yes. That might pop up two or three, uh, two or three times. But it's creating the virtual drive, so you're going to have to wait a couple minutes while it does that. And there we go. So now I have the Office installer up. I'm going to accept the terms. I'm going to hit continue. And then I'm going to hit install now. And it should just install with no problem. All right, and you can see that it has just finished. So you're actually just going to hit close here. You're not going to continue online. Hit close. Give Play on Linux a couple of minutes, and it should populate here with all of the Office applications. And there we go. And you can see it also makes the shortcuts on the desktop for you, um, which you can get rid of if you don't need them. But you can see that it's been installed, so you're just going to hit Next. It'll close out. Um, I can even close out of this completely. And the full Office suite... I've already created kind of my own folder for them, but it'll all be on your main menu. So you should be able to click on these. First time, it might take a second or so to load. Actually, that was relatively quick. And it's going to say first things first, blah, blah, blah. You can just ask me later. Same thing when this pops up, you can just close out of it. And then you are good. You've got Microsoft Office installed and working. So yeah, that is pretty much all for this video. If you run into any issues, just drop me a comment and I will try to help you troubleshoot. But as always, thank you all so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next video.